For the past 12 years, all the way back since beta 1.4, there has been just one type of dog in the game. But now, all of that has changed because in the latest update, Minecraft is finally getting 8 new dog variations. And me being someone who loves dogs, I installed the latest snapshot and wanted to see them all for myself. But I didn't want to just go into creative mode and spawn them in. I wanted to set out into a brand new world and find them where they spawn naturally. I loaded up a brand new world and spawned in a forest biome. In this update, each new dog has been given a unique biome that they can spawn in. For this task to be successful, I would need to travel this world and find every single one of them. This includes the forest, the sparse jungle, the savanna plateau, the wooded badlands, the tiger, both the old growth pine and old growth spruce tigers, the snowy tiger, and last but not least, the growth biome. I will wander around this world until I have found and tamed every single one of these new wolves. Oh, you're way too close to him. No, no, no! Oh my gosh, the baby's dead. Good, good. Stop, stop. No! <laughs> no! As I said before, we started in a forest biome, and just around the corner was a tiger. This was great, we could potentially find a few of the wolves right at spawn, but before I do, I'm going to need to find some bones so that I'm able to tame any that I come across. Although, I hear skeletons. I found a singular skeleton in the cave below me and he dropped me one bone. A good start, but definitely not enough to tame nine dogs with. I equipped the bone in my offhand so that any wolves nearby could sniff it out and wandered around the surface waiting for night time so I could farm skeletons. But to my surprise, not even ten minutes in, I heard this. Listen. Where? Our first one, our first one, okay. Will this work? Yes! One bone! Yes! Good boy, good boy. You're such a good boy. My one bone was enough, and I had my first dog. And what better dog to start it with than the OG? Now that I've tamed my first dog, I can explain a little more about the rules of this task. Number one, I'm not allowed to tame a dog and just leave them where I found them. Every dog I tame has to come with me throughout this journey. And number two, by the end, I need to have at least one of every dog with me. Meaning, if I lose any along the way, I would need to go back and tame another. And that's pretty much it. In honor of being the OG, I named our first dog, Oggy. And as the moon began to rise, me and Oggy got ready to face what the night had in store for us. I would need a fair amount of bones for this challenge, so we stayed up all night killing as many skeletons as we could. But having just met, our teamwork could have been a bit better. Oh my gosh, I hit Oggy. I'm sorry. Oh, you're way too close to him. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh. Having barely survived the night, we now had a few more bones and started looking for more wolves in the tiger biomes that surrounded us. I had walked around for a little while and hadn't seen anything, and I was starting to worry that I was in the wrong version or if they even spawned in the wild yet. But those concerns didn't last long because shortly after, hiding amongst the white leaves of You're the snowy no. tiger was you. the new ashen wolf. Oh, there is a new one, there is a new one. Can I? Please? Yes, okay. It took almost all of my bones, but we got her eventually. Our second dog, Ash. It was my first time playing this snapshot, so I put my lab coat on and wanted to do some experimenting. I wanted to know if two dogs breed, will the puppy look like one of their parents, or will it be a variant of the biome it was bred in? You make an ash. Okay, I'll, I'll go to... I have to keep it. The... Yeah, this was pretty dumb. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, I, I promise I know how babies work. But now we have a new puppy to look after, and I named her N. We killed a couple more skeletons, accidentally hit my dogs again, and as the sun was setting, gave our dogs some fancy new collars. The sun had set, and that only meant Someone one thing. Time for more bone hunting. I never knew this. I had plenty of bones now and made a bed ready to sleep the night away. But I got a little greedy and went after these last two skeletons. A night. No! Things got no, 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 no. Who's... out of control pretty quickly. Move, 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 move. Oh my gosh, the baby's dead. 
And no, oh, he's, alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. They're taking damage. Scared of their lives, I healed them as much as I could, and thankfully, food, we all managed food. to survive. Are we all alive? This was so dumb. In fact, we actually ended up with more dogs than we had to begin with. Wait, they made another? <laughs> During all that, they made another baby. N2 is now joining us on the adventure. After sleeping, we had another close call with a creeper. Oh my gosh, stay away from them, please. And then headed over to check out an abandoned shipwreck, which was when I noticed something was missing. Uh, where's Augie? Augie was nowhere to be seen. I couldn't understand what might have happened to him. Augie? I had no recollection of seeing him get killed, and I was certain I didn't sit him down anywhere. I went back to look for him, but couldn't find him anywhere. Is he not here? Did I lose him? At least, I couldn't at the time. When I finished the challenge, I went back and checked the footage to see if I could find out what happened to him. It turns out that after the incident with the creeper, he sat down on his own and I never noticed it. And to make matters worse, whilst looking for him, I ran straight past him. You can see his big eyes staring at me, hoping I would turn around and notice him. But I never did. I ran off into the distance, back to where I saw the other pale wolves, and tamed another one. I'm sorry, Oggy. I promise I'll make this right before the video ends. Moving on from that loss, we wandered through a forest and managed to find ourselves a woods wolf. Oh, dogs, Rusty Dusty. A little confused, I called him Rusty Dusty, thinking this was the rusty dog. I picked up on my mistake eventually, but it was too late to go back at that point. I, I've been calling you Rusty Dusty this whole you're not rusty. Our travels led us to a village where we were able to stock up on food, through some more old growth tigers, but still no wolves to be found. N and N2 grew up. Oh, the, the boys grew up. And eventually, we spotted a savannah biome at the top of the mountain. We climbed all the way up, hoping to find a spotted dog at the top, but unfortunately, it wasn't the right kind of savannah. This is a windswept savannah. Okay, not what we need. And there wasn't really an easy way back down for us. I was sure if I jumped, then my dogs would just TP to me once I hit the ground. And they did. Well, most of them did. I jumped off into the water below, turned around and... No! He was one block away from joining his brother Augie. Luckily for us, not too far from the bottom of the mountain was the actual savannah biome we needed. And we were soon in the presence of a beautiful spotted wolf, who was clearly very creatively named before we even tamed him. Ah! Spot! We found one! Stay! Oh, hello. Yay! Moving on, we found ourselves in a desert which doesn't have any of the new wolves, but we did find a temple. I was not willing to let my dogs anywhere near that pressure plate, so I sat them down and headed over okay. on my own. Bye! We actually saw some red sand on the way, but it wasn't enough to be a full biome. So I headed in, looted all the chests, and we now had enough bones that I could peacefully sleep through every night. And I had a theory in my head that if I continued in the direction of the red sand, that it might lead us to a mesa biome. But to do this, I had to cross an ocean. I wouldn't be able to take my dogs with me, so again, I sat them all down and headed out to sea. It was quiet without them. But to my surprise, just over the horizon, I could see the towering terracotta pillars of a mesa biome. And a mesa, oh my gosh. Okay, this is huge. I quickly looted another temple and headed into the Badlands. This is where I found the new armadillo mob. Oh, the... That's how I get... Uh, armor. Eager to keep my dogs safe with the new dog armor, I started farming some armadillo scoots. Wait. No, you idiot. Not like that. Yep. I thought to farm scoots, you had to kill the armadillos. They are useless and don't drop anything, so... Turns out you're just supposed to gently brush them, and they will drop the scutes for you. Whoopsie. With the massacre of innocent armadillos behind us, the striped dog would soon be found. Oh, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. And we called him... Uh, st stripe. Look, I wasn't feeling very creative when I was filming this, okay? 
Anyways, back when we were looking for Stripe, we spotted a jungle biome over the way. So after taming him, we headed over to the jungle to look for the rusty dog. And not even five minutes after finding Stripe, we found it. There he is. And then I took them back across the ocean one by one to the rest of the group. Look at all of us, all together. We were making great progress. Six out of nine dogs in just over two hours. And not wanting to slow down, we were back on our feet right away. Being careful not to take any fall damage. Don't fall. Who fell? A few uncomfortable nights sleep. Yep, yeah, you can sleep there, that's fine. Yeah, oh no, you can all, well, everyone get on. And getting soaked after a quick swim, we found ourselves back in the old growth biomes we needed. We had already been through two of these biomes, but never found the wolves we needed. But thankfully this time, there was a lovely chestnut wolf waiting for us. We found them. Okay, perfect. We called him Chris, because it kind of sounds like chess. But now to try and find the black wolf. I wasn't sure what the difference between the two old growth biomes were, so I stopped at the edge of this river to Google it. The main difference between the shape of the giant trees. So is this pine and this? To my surprise, both biomes were right in front of me. It might be, because they are different. And stood on the edge of the river. There's, bla uh, there's black wolf there. We gave him a yellow collar and called him Bumble. One more dog to go. This was going really well. I got out of the tiger and did one last roll call before beginning the final hunt for the snowy wolf. Where I realised I hadn't actually named the rusty dog yet, because the woods dog stole his name. You stole his name, didn't you? Because I thought you were him. So you're just... you're Teeth. I'll call you Teeth. So I called him Teeth because it kind of looks like he's doing a big teethy smile. I stopped off at the nearest village to restock on supplies, terrorised the local cat, yeah, I would be running away too. This poor cat. <laughs> He's terrified. And tamed a horse to travel faster. On our way, we came across another jungle, and I saw this parrot and just had to tame him. Everyone welcome our new friend, Perry the Parrot Puss. We walked for a while more, spent way too long thinking a snowy tiger was a snowy grove. Eh, surely, surely that's what I need. Let's sleep the last night away, hopefully the last night. Yeah, this definitely wasn't our last night. Still a snowy tiger. We fell down a mountain. Stop falling. And accidentally created even more ashen babies. Oh. Okay, okay, we're having more. Okay. Oh, yeah. Everyone welcome N3 and N4. We walked some more. And fell Please. some more. Come down here. Yes, good, good, good. Stop, stop. No. Okay. Stop. And then I found a snowy mountain and I thought there might be a grove in there somewhere. But being extra cautious now. I was scared of my dogs getting stuck in powdered snow, so me and Perry headed in to take a look. And finally, after over an hour of walking, we found the biome we needed. That is what we're looking for, surely that's what we need. But that was um, only half the battle. I didn't know this at the time, but the snowy wolf is the only wolf that is labelled as rare, and that definitely proved to be the case. I gathered my dogs, headed over and sat them down away from the snow. I took Perry into the grove with me hoping to be greeted by a snowy wolf, but there was nothing to be seen. Because it took me so long to find the biome, I decided I would stay here and hope that I could get a snowy wolf to spawn. This ended up being a huge mistake that cost me a lot of time. But it wasn't the only mistake I made. I don't even know if I would be able to see them like this. Worried that my vision was being impaired by all the trees and that I might miss the wolf if it did spawn, I went on a chopping spree. But as if the Lorax himself was watching me, I was punished for my crimes against the forest, in the worst way I could have ever imagined. Oh, <laughs> no. oh. We lost Perry. This upset me more than I wanted to admit and we were coming up to four hours and there was still no sign of the snowy wolf. 
I was feeling defeated. But I still wanted to finish this task. So I decided to kick it up a notch. I did some research into the behavior of animal spawning and thus Operation Mutsusak was born. The plan was simple. Chop down all trees to increase visibility. Slaughter all animals in the vicinity so that the mob cap isn't reached. Cover the land around the grove in pressure plates so that animals can only spawn in the grove. Run back and forth away from the grove to allow new animals to spawn. We are finishing this. Yeah, no, none of that worked. I'm gonna have to carry on looking because I can't figure out how to make new animals spawn. Um, I decided I'd spent way too long here and nothing seemed to affect any of the spawn rates, so I had to give up. I collected my dogs and set back out on our journey, leaving nothing but a wasteland behind us. I was preparing myself to spend another hour searching for a new grove, but fortunately for me, the wait wasn't too long. We first found this really small Wait, this weird patch of grove, but no wolf. This is a grove. Um, we then saw what looked like a much bigger grove on top of a mountain. There is, that looks like quite a big slope there, so. But still no wolf. However, from that grove, we could see another grove across the valley. And surely one of these had to be home to a snowy wolf. Me and my dog started to climb up the mountain and what was waiting for me at the top? Oh, oh. oh my gosh! Bones, 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 bones! Come here. Yes! Finally, almost three hours after finding our last dog, we had found the snowy wolf. And with that, our challenge was complete. I spent way too long trying to place my dogs on these podiums so I could show them all off and then held a funeral for Oggy and Perry. No, we're not ending it like that. Come on guys, there's one more thing we need to do. All right, if we head to zero zero, we should make it. So it was no spawn. Seven thousand blocks to go. Back to where we spawned. You should just be over here, guys. You should just be down there. Oggy! 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 I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry.